There are many instruments that can be used to monitor volcanoes, and I'm going to read to you about four of those different tools, satellites, seismographs, tiltometers, and gas trapping bottles. Okay, so the first one is satellites. Orbiting satellites monitor volcanoes from space, providing signs of possible eruption. Satellites use cameras to provide images. They also provide information from special sensors that detect heat, sulfur dioxide, which is a gas, and tiny changes in the shape of the Earth's surface. This information can offer clues to when an eruption is imminent. Seismographs. Seismographs measure movement in the planet's crust. Volcanic eruptions are closely related to the seismic activities that also cause earthquakes. So seismographs are also used to monitor volcanoes. When the Earth's tectonic plates move, they cause vibrations and tension. When violent seismic vibrations occur near a volcano, it is often a precursor to an eruption. Tiltometers. Tiltometers are positioned on and around a volcano. A small container of liquid shows how much the ground moves. The tiltometers are connected to computers that monitor ongoing changes in the landscape. Changes in the landscape and the shape of the ground from the movement of magma below the surface are often predictors of future volcanic activity. Gas trapping bottles. Volcanoes emit gases, so measuring gas emissions around volcanoes can also provide useful information about changes in behavior that can indicate an eruption in the making. The instruments used to do this are typically trapping bottles that analyze the local air over a volcano. As magma moves towards the surface of the earth, the pressure releases gas. The two most abundant gases are sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide. And if levels of these gases increase, it shows that magma is rising to the surface and an eruption is more likely.